How's it going everyone? Welcome to the forest. Today I thought we would check out the forest which is a game that's been out in early access anyway for a very very long time and the reason I'm playing this is sort of a in between to Subnautica sort of a continuation but in the forest until we can actually go back to Subnautica when it's got some new stuff so I thought I would choose the forest over many other survival games because for some reason in my head, it just seems like it fits. It seems as if it's sort of its brother to me. It's, it's weird, I don't know why they just sort of seem to go well together in my eyes, but... The forest takes place well in the forest, after a plane crash and the entire point of the game is to one, survive, and not get killed by tribals. I know a little bit about the game, so let's get into it, and try not to die in the first five minutes. So here we are. We have arrived on the island of nowhere. Wow. I've played the game for about half an hour to get an idea of what to do in the game and understand the very basics. So down in the bottom right we have my stomach, my water level, my stamina, my health, and I believe the one on the far right is my fatigue, like until we need to like sleep or something. But I really don't know much apart from that. So I don't know who that guy was, and I don't know where my son went. Bambi! Ah. I've turned down a few of my graphic settings on this game because I'm almost certain uh, YouTube is going to ruin the look of this game just by what YouTube does when it comes to pixelation. I want to make sure I've got everything. What's this? New item added to my to-do list. Uh, it seems to be some sort of... Oh, it's a manifest, so it's telling me all the different people who were on the plane. Oh. Okay. This guy's got an axe. Can I have that? I can have that. It's not actually a guy, it's a woman. Wow. Couldn't have picked a better place to land, to be honest. This place is... Weirdly... Beautiful looking. And you can break open all the exposed luggage that came out of the plane. I don't know where the other part of the plane is. It must be around. Unless it got destroyed. That's a point, actually. I have no idea. But I'm just going to sit here for like the next 10 minutes trying to pick up some of this stuff. This axe, I believe, is going to become one hell of a good friend to me. I have that feeling. <laughs> it's gonna keep me safe. Now I'm probably gonna want to get this blood off me. Because I'm pretty sure that that's not gonna be a good thing if I come to eat something. I say we get out of here. And try and find the coast and run along the coast and see what we can do then. Because then I can only be attacked from one side pretty much. Wow, there's like catering trays everywhere. Holy crap. Is that the beach? That's the beach, all right. Thought I heard something. 
This game is very pretty, though. Really pretty. I say we get down there and try and find safety. Oh, God. Wow. This person seems to have been to a lot of places. America, UK, Russia, Germany, Canada. The reason I spoke all of those out is because I know what each and every one of those flags are. If I didn't, then I wouldn't have done. <laughs> is there anything in here? <gasps> Rope. Now, there's an extensive crafting system in this game. I think I want to set up base maybe here. At least for a first initial base. I mean, I can only be attacked from this location. Oh. Can you see him? Hi! Oh, that is creepy. Okay, well, they know where I am. Hello! Or is that a bad guy? It doesn't look particularly bad. He just looks like he's watching me. Let's try and ignore him. Right, so what I'm going to do now is pull out my basic survival guide, because everyone has one of these when they go on the plane, right? Uh, basics of survival. A hunting shelter. So we need seven sticks, six rocks, and seven logs. So I'll show you the basic stuff, in case you've never played this game, in which case if you have, then... Well, I'm guessing this isn't going to be very useful, but... <laughs> so if we stick this down, I've apparently already got the sticks and rocks, which I was picking up over near the plane. Now, the shelter also requires us to build it out of logs as well as sticks, so we're going to have to chop down some trees, and this game is one of the best tree simulators of all tree simulators. It's actually awesome. I don't know if it's going to fall in the sea, but we'll see. You can see we just start cutting into the tree. I'm sorry if I'm hurting nature, the man who was watching me. It's kind of weird knowing you're being watched. I don't like that. We got it. There we go. Down it comes. Don't fall on me. And then it will explode. Like a massive bomb goes off. Or it should have done. There we go. And then we'll be able to collect the logs. Now, some of them sank. Which isn't good. However, I believe I can only carry three at once. And I need to rush this shelter up. It's very much like Minecraft. You have to be very quick about your first design, because you can't mess around. As soon as night comes, those buggers will come after you. Okay, so, I believe I now have enough to build the shelter. There we go. Is my friend still watching me? I think he lost interest. So I'm able to save the game here, which is kind of very Minecraft-esque, which is good, and it's almost coming up for night. Or at least I believe that's what that symbol means. I'm also very thirsty. I think I need to take a drink. Oh, look at all this booze. Yes. Just have some of that. Now, that does mean I'm going to need some water at some point. So I will take check my little crafting guide. So step two, a basic fire. Leaves and sticks. I can do that. So if I set my little fire here. I think so. There we go. Got our own little fire pit. So basic survival, step three. Here is an example of two similar looking berries. One is edible and the other poisonous. Oval leafed blueberries. Okay. So the black twin berries look very similar to these and these are toxic. So oval leafed blueberries. Berries are an indigo color and then those are a black color. Wow, if people are colorblind, they're not exactly going to find that very fun, are they? <laughs> Okay, well, the sun's setting. It is about to go over tonight. And it's somehow shining through a sheer cliff to reach me. <laughs> uh, go away! Get out! Uh, pain in the ass! Go! Go! Uh, my friend is watching me. He probably thinks I'm the proper crazy. Go away! Uh, that, that. Get out of here. Now, the nights are exceptionally cold on this game. However, I don't want to light my fire, because I've heard that it can attract 
unwanted f people or things. I'm not sure if it's people, but it can attract things that will want to eat me. However, it does keep them away, which is weird. It kind of cancels itself out. So if I'm not dying from frost, I'm not turning it on. So there's an extensive crafting system in this game. And a very quick example, which is one that most people learn, I didn't mean to drink that, is some cloth and some booze. And I can create a Molotov. How cool is that? I love that. There's loads of them. There's loads of crafting recipes in this game, which I'll have to learn over time, it seems. I'm getting so cold right now. Quick, 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 quick. Light that fire. You can see by all the, like, the frost around my screen that I'm like going to die of hypothermia if I don't turn this on. However, now, Mr. Tribals can come find me. Bloody seagulls. Not supposed to be in the ground as well. Ow! I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Ow, 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 ow. I'm doing worse than Castaway. Oh. Yeah, I know. That feels good, doesn't it? What the hell? It was like frog spawn. Oh, no. Go away. Go away. You, go away. Back up. Back up. That's it, you run away. You run away, I'm not scared of you. You're not as scary as big fish. Oh, shit. Die, 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 die. Oh, my God. That's it, you stay on the ground. Yeah. Mm. Don't take kindly to strangers. I'll have that head. Come here, head. Head, yes. Got his head. And his arm. How do you feel now? So it seems that the sun's coming up, finally, and I think I'm going to have myself a spot of breakfast. I totally didn't kill a Bambi to get this meat. Nope, I totally didn't do that. But today, I think what we're going to do is go out and try and find the plane passengers, because it came up in my to-do list, and I believe that's a good idea. Sort of. You might be wondering what this thing is over here. This is some sort of effigy, which is like, I use the tribal's body parts to like scare them off. Uh, but I can't finish it yet. Right, onwards! Wow, how big is this place? How big is this island? Oh god. Please don't witcher me! I thought it was gonna witcher me. Fall three feet and like break my legs. Or daisy me. Or daisy. One or the other. Oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> this place is huge. I know I'm wandering like extremely far away from my base. Like my base is all the way over there. However, I have no idea where the front of the plane would be. Or where the passengers would be for that matter. I'm just complete... <gasps> Speak of the devil? I just found it. How is that there, when the plane is, like, all the way over there? Come on, there's got to be something in here. There's got to be something in here. There's got to be something. Oh, is that his head? I believe his head has come through the ceiling. Or the windscreen. Captain! What the fuck did you do to us, man? <gasps> A flare gun! And some, what looks like, circuitry. Well, you guys were really shitty pilots. No wonder. Look how far away your seat is from the pedals. Of course you couldn't control it. Stupid people on my plane. You should feel ashamed of yourself. I had my son on board with you, you bastards. Finally. That takes forever. Oh, God. Oh, no. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Actually, no. Come over. I can cut your head off and now I can finish my effigy. Come on. Come on, that's it. Put him up. Get on the ground. On the ground. Give me your face. I want that arm. That arm's better than my other arm. Oh no, I think I've pissed off their entire group. Hang on, what if I like hold his leg? Maybe they'll get scared. I'll beat you with my leg. Come on then. Come on then. You're like a witch from Left 4 Dead. God, she's hard as nails. Jesus. 
Oh god. Who are you? You like the boss? Oh, I'm not in my happy place. I'm not in my happy place. Leave me alone. My rock. My rock. Get away from my rock. Yeah. Oh my god. Come on. Get in the water. Oh, he's down. Oh my god, he's down. Oh my god, pop some pills. It's probably my son's shoe. You bastards. I really need to head back to base, but... Kind of want to see what's over here. This looks like it was built like by proper people. Like the survivors, maybe. Some sort of cage. And these are like fishing cages. They look like it. But maybe this is where the people from the plane were. Ooh, booze! And a relic. Like a. Okay. It just made like a little harmonic sound. Oh, I can actually save the game here. Which is actually quite useful. I think I'll do that because I haven't saved the game in absolutely ages. Which would be bad. And it's also getting towards night, which is also not so good. Uh oh. Okay. Well, I think I'm about done here. I think I'm going to go back to base, get some stuff, and continue my expedition tomorrow. It's a hell of a lot of fun to run around on this game and just sort of see the world. But I do believe I'm going to go back to base now. Because if I don't, it is going to get very dark. And I ain't going to be able to make my way back. <laughs> so it's early the next day. Uh, took a little while to get back last night. But I've just built a few things, and I'm just sort of looking through the catalogue, as it were. Just sort of seeing what I can build. A weapon rack? Medicine cabinet? Snack bar? Explosive holder? Man, this is going to be like a five-star restaurant when I'm done with this. Can I, like, build a tree house? Like, put this near a tree? It'll take forever to make. Could you get out of my face? Stupid things. Oh, this one's cool, though. Where is he? Hey! Hey, little birdie. Hey. Okay, you can get off now. Thank you. Um, yeah. Can I build, like, a tree house? That'd be so cool. A bone fence, a rock wall, a uh, wooden path. I think this is implying sort of tree house based designs. It would make sense in the forest to build a tree house where there are many trees. Defensive spiked wall. Defensive wall. This is going to be useful. Oh, yes. Okay. So how do I turn it? Do I just have to do this? Ah, I see. Oh my god. Like that. Whoa. What the hell is that? I'm scared. Who cried? Lady! If you're even you call you a lady. Okay, this tree isn't really here. I can walk through it. Okay. Good to know. Let's chop down. Whoa. I'm running. I'm running. I'm sorry. It wasn't me. That came from like every way in my ear holes. Is it like some monster or something that like, it just sounded like one of the girls screaming. But like a massive version. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I know this first episode is very much just all over the place. It's because I'm still very much getting used to the game. Hey there. We're going to have to give this little guy a name. I don't know why, but Jackson just sprung to mind. He looks like a boy bird. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to go out foraging again. Back towards the crazy woman who shouted at me. I was not fond of that noise. I don't know who it was, what it was. And I definitely don't want to head towards it, which is exactly what I'm doing. Think of happy things, think of happy things, don't think of bad things. Whoa. Uh, I'm not sure what I've just come across, but I've come across some sort of twigs in the ground. And they're definitely not just there by nature. Probably the cannibals. If I if I hazard a guess, I keep calling them ca I keep calling them tribals. They're actually cannibals. I think I've said tribals like a million times in this video. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna die! No, I'm not. Oh, okay, I'm fine. Am I being baited here? Where are you? 
I'm coming out swinging. Oh, I knocked it down. I can knock down their altars. I control them. Yes. Ha ha. Mwah. They're going to come and eat me now, aren't they? Oh my god, is this going to be like the horizon? Whoa. Well, that tree looks not conspicuous at all. Or at least I think that's a tree. Yeah. Whoa. It's a very pretty beach. There's actually a boat over there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to leave this video here, and next time we'll be going out and actually investigating that boat over there. However, I am worried about being eaten in the back while I stand here and talk to you guys. I don't think there's anyone going to eat me. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Goodbye. Thank you.